Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you how I build my cinema camera. So to give you a little bit of context, I'm currently on a tour across Europe uh, filming a documentary series and because I'm traveling and I'm moving almost every day, there's not a lot of time to film YouTube videos. But I want to keep consistent and I want to post every Tuesday, so I've decided that today's video is going to be about my camera rig. Because I need to build it up anyway for today's and tomorrow's shoots. Now I'll try to keep the video short and get straight to the point, so let's just jump straight into it. So first, the most important thing. The camera body. This is a Kinefinity Mavo LF Mark II. If you haven't heard about that camera, then you can watch a video that I made about it right here. And this is my main workhorse camera as of now. So a few reasons why I love this camera. It's a full frame, 6K, shoots up to ProRes 444XQ, has beautiful color science, records into SSDs, and it has interchangeable mounts. Plus, it's a cube, so very modular. This is the body. The first thing I put on is this top plate from MoffCam. It goes straight on top and screws right into the camera. What I love about this top plate is that it's made by MoffCam. Very good, high quality products. Next is the side plate. Side plate is also from MoffCam. It screws as well straight on top of the camera. What I like is that it has these little locking mechanisms, so even if the screws are loose, it's not gonna fall off the camera. Next is the NATO rail, also from MoffCam, and that goes straight on top of the top plate. There we go. This is where the top handle is gonna go after. Before that though, we're gonna put a bottom plate. So for the bottom plate, I'm using this small rig Manfrotto like plate. If you're building heavier camera, always use two screws to keep the bottom plate in place. Now that we have that, I'm just gonna show you the base plate that I use. So this is a small rig quick release base plate and I then screw it on a small rig base plate that can hold uh, 15 millimeter rods. So this just goes in like this, tighten it here and then lock it like this. Perfect. This is what we have so far. I'm gonna put in the rods. So 15 millimeter small rig rods. There we go. Next, I'm gonna put on a V-mount battery. These are uh, 99 watt V-mount batteries from Kinefinity. Next, I'm gonna put on the lens. So for most of my documentary shoots, Especially if it's a lot of running gun, I use a Sigma 24 to 70 f2.8. This is an EF mount lens and then goes straight onto the EF adapter. There we go. You can see that the rig is starting to look really nice. Next, I'll put the top handle. So I got a few questions about this top handle and this is a top handle that comes with the Agile pack with the Kinefinity and it's from MoffCam as well. It has this great side bracket that goes directly into the monitor and you can basically swivel it around and we tighten it boom next i'll put on the monitor as i said the monitor goes right here on the swivel mount just slide it in and lock it into the place with this lever and then you can move it like this i can also move it up and down Okay, let me just change the camera angle. All right, this is better. I hope you can see the camera a little better now. It's almost built up. Next thing, I'm gonna put on the cable for the monitor. So with this cable, you can directly control the camera through the monitor. And you have two monitor ports or two video ports on the camera plus SDI. Okay, next I'm gonna put on this small rig Ari Rosette attachment right about here and two small cold shoe mounts. I use these to attach um, lever microphones and also a shotgun mic. Okay, next I attach the Sennheiser MKE 600. Um, XLR cable goes straight into the XLR port. This is definitely something I love about this camera that it has two XLR ports straight on the body. You don't need any top handles or any 
third-party accessories to record high-quality audio. So far so good. And then a few more things. A side handle. This one goes right here. And this is, I think this is a small rig side handle. I got it from a friend and I absolutely love using it. Screw straight onto the rosette, gives a really nice grip to the camera and because it's a little further front, it allows me to lock the camera much more efficiently into my chest or into my body to get another point of stabilization. So that goes here and we turn it around. This is Tilta Mirage Variable ND Madbox. So we screw it on the lens. There we go, Madbox is on. And then last but not least, I have two more things that I use. Smaller rig side handle, which is actually the same as the first one. And I can either put it here with this arm, so it allows me to, you know, move the handle around. Or I can take this extension off and then I can just put on the handle. It goes here. And this basically allows me to hold the camera with both hands lock it into my chest and just get a really good uh, stabilized and control movement with the camera. And then last but not least, if I need to, I also have a shoulder pad. I think this is also an older small rig shoulder pad that just slides straight onto the 15 millimeter rods. And this allows me to quickly switch between shoulder and handheld setup. If I want to put this on a tripod, I'll just loosen the plate, take the camera out, and with this plate I can then put it on my uh, tripod. Or just have like a little lighter run and gun setup. All right guys, and that's it. So this is my current Kinefinity Mavo LF Mark II handheld setup. As I mentioned before, what I really like is the double grip, which allows me to lock the camera in and basically get a really nice, stable handheld footage. Um, I'm not sure if this is the final version of the rig. I think it's gonna improve and evolve as I shoot more and more with the camera. But at this point, I'm really happy with it. So as I said, the whole October, I'll be on production around Europe. I'm in London for two days and going to Ibiza and then potentially to Zurich. I'll try to keep consistent with my uploads every Tuesday, but uh, the videos might be a little improvised. But I hope that that can give you a good look into the behind the scenes of how I work. And so now it's time to take the rig and go shoot next episode of the documentary series that I'm working on. And I'll see you next Tuesday with the new video. Peace.